I used to feel a sense of urgency, this need to seize this year ahead with the most efficient and rigorous plan. I end up overwhelming myself and just lose motivation. So this year, my new motto is ease into the new year. So here are some gentle habits that have been helping me, even if I just do one or two. In the winter, I just don't wake up with the same level of huzzah as I usually do in the summer. Sometimes I'm just feeling quite glum. So I give myself a choice, some simple habits I know will boost my mood without even needing to step out of my bed. So I'll do either a 15-minute Vipassana meditation, just observing the sensations scanning up and down my body, or if I'm not in the mood for that, I will read an encouraging book. Currently, it is Living with Joy. It has very adorable affirmations, and I just love drawing and highlighting as I read it. It makes it a very fun and playful reading experience. And once I feel that heaviness kind of shake off of me, I step out of my bed and get into my morning movement. If it's not too cold, I'll go outside, poke around the backyard, or my recent favorite is conducting a mini dance party. My two favorite playlists are Dance with Huzzah and the Tsai Hong J. Cho radio playlist. super easy five minutes no one's timing it okay we don't need to time things scurrying out of my room i greet myself with a warm meal if i'm feeling super lazy i'll make some nice warm toast and spread some seed nut butter onto it according to traditional chinese medicine warm hot meals are easier on the body so it's simple to digest and absorb the nutrients especially in the winter to replenish your qi and just keep you feeling cozy i try to have a soup at the beginning of every day whether that's a very easy pear and turnip soup or i'll use this seaweed shiitake pack you can pour it into some water let it boil Add in extra veggies or tofu, whatever you like, some miso paste, and it makes a delicious warming soup. In the past years, I'd always try and give myself some type of intense workout regimen, like doing a specific workout three times a week or something. And to be honest, I don't think that works for me i don't like intense exercise that much so this year i've just replaced it with chill walks no strict schedules just go on a little walk every day sometimes i do it after food sometimes i join my grandma on her walks for a little quality time to bond and also it's like an act of service to accompany someone on their daily walk my grandma does two walks every day once in the morning and then once after her afternoon nap so i'm trying to embody her workout schedule because that's one that i think i can do of course i also love going on my solo walks every time i go to a walk alone to my favorite park i feel like something magical happens the other day i just stared face to face with a coyote for five minutes Today, the sun on the water just looks magnificent and a stranger airdropped me a photo. That was so funny. I'm just like standing by the water filming it and then ladies came up and they're like, we took some photos of you. We want to airdrop them. <laughs> they're so cute. It's never happened to me before. It's so pretty and calm. Oh my gosh, she's taking photos of her husband from every angle and like he's walking ahead trying to go on a walk and she keeps yelling at him to stop so she can take a pic of him. It's very cute. If you feel very resistant to going outside and going for a walk, I'd recommend listening to a podcast. Here are two podcasts that I've listened to recently and really enjoyed talking about the natural world and food growing super cool stick I found. kind of want to take it home, but I don't know where I'd put it. Hi! A new routine I've added to my week is a bookless library visit. I'll come stop by even if I'm not looking to borrow a book. 
I know the library is meant for books, but I really like coming to the library for bookless activities like writing down dreams for the new year. Instead of having goals around my productivity levels, I've decided I'm doing dreamy goals. Writing down, brain dumping, everything that I want to do in this lifetime. With no consideration to timelines, limits, write it all down. So out of your list of dreams, pick one and then think about what you could do now. That would be a tiny baby step towards it. So here's the plan. I'm going to learn to sail this summer with a viewer named Alethea. The only thing is she's in Spain. Learning to sail in Spain means I need to learn Spanish. That is why I'm doing my nomadic world travel very slowly because I'm not a brainiac polyglot. The only reason some of you guys think I'm really good at speaking languages is because I'm pretty decent at imitating accents. But everything else, grammar, oh my god, I'm literally the worst. But thankfully with Lingoda, I don't have to be the worst. If you've been on my channel, you know I've been taking French classes with Lingoda for over two years now. Léa, continue s'il vous plaît. They have drastically improved my ability to speak and to finally actually understand what people are saying without translating things word for word. For the first time in my French learning career, I was listening to a podcast while on a bike ride. I was like, oh my god, like I'm understanding everything without actively having to like translate every sentence. Obviously, that did not happen overnight. I've been learning French for a very long time, but it was such an exhilarating, fulfilling feeling. And I would love to recreate that for Spanish. I'm gonna sign up for the Lingoda Sprint in Spanish. I'm gonna do the Super Sprint, which is one class every single day, 30 classes a month for two months. And if I show up to all my classes, I get all my money back. I've done it in French before, got fully refunded. So I'm gonna do it again for Spanish. I have met viewers in my French classes actually on Lingoda, it's really cool. And I think we should put like an emoji after our name. We'll recognize each other. <laughs> Thank you so much Lingoda for sponsoring this video. I'll drop the discount code they gave me and link down below. So once the sun sets and dinner's eaten, I've designated evenings for fun activities only so sometimes i'll play the piano other times i'll just putter around my room reading flipping through my books or decluttering i'm currently doing a 30-day decluttering challenge i'm very excited to share that video with you guys i think at the end i'll probably have gotten rid of like 500 things Recently, I've been spending a lot of my evenings drawing, which leads me to the final habit, which is what I call the forgotten project. You pick something that you've been wanting to do forever, but it's a project you've always put off, put it on the back burner, made up whatever excuses in your mind for why it wouldn't work, why you shouldn't do it. And mine has been making a calendar. I literally started drawing a calendar two years ago and I just stopped, I've hit a creative, block but you know what creative blocks don't get unblocked if you don't show up so past couple weeks i've been sitting myself down every evening to work on this calendar by the time this video is up i think it should be done i've designed multiple layouts for printing it to put on your wall for your desktop background your phone background everything I really wanted to make a cute and cozy calendar, something that I'll smile every time I look at it because, dude, calendars and just the concept of time can really make me feel stressed out. So I wanted to design one that made me feel encouraged and smile every time I look at it. So I relaunched my web shop so that I could share it with you guys too, just in case anyone else would like to add them to their day. If you do print them out or put them as your background, please, please, please send me a photo. Tag me on Instagram at Leah's Field Notes so I can see it and repost it and just Ah, I think it would be so cute if we all have matching calendars. And of course, they all include a mini monthly affirmation. Yeah, that's it for tonight, guys. Next video, I'm going to be doing a catch-up video answering questions that have been popping up. So I'll see you in a week or two for that. It'll be a very, very juicy one.